Welcome to my ITC 571 Emerging Technologies and Innovation presentation. My name's Angela Senior and I have chosen the research topic of the use of electronic medical records in the ambulance environment. This presentation will cover the following topics. The electronic medical record or EMR, the benefits of an EMR system, what needs to be considered when looking at an EMR system, an EMR in the ambulance environment, the research that has been undertaken, issues that need to be overcome, and the conclusion. The electronic medical record has been a natural progression from historical paper-based records with the advancement of technology in delivering patient care. It is a legal requirement for all healthcare providers following patient contact to keep a record. There are either incident-based systems where the main field is a unique identifier or patient-based systems where the main field is the patient details. Access to the system for all healthcare professionals is important. Uh, having a device, having connection and having the knowledge to utilise the system. There are great benefits for the healthcare environment from implementing an EMR system and ambulance as part of that health system can also achieve these benefits. These include better data to improve patient care and efficiency, access to patient information for paramedics, the ability to transmit the ambulance record into the hospital, improving patient and paramedic safety, directing individual education and training for skills and competency maintenance, having standard ways for data to be input and collected, and a more efficient billing process. Things that need to be considered when looking at an EMR system include what type of device will be used to access the system, in a hospital setting, this can be quite simple as it's either a desktop or a laptop. In the ambulance environment, the decision to use a expensive ruggedized laptop that can withstand the environment versus a cheaper tablet that will potentially just be thrown away if it's damaged. The ability to connect to a network allows a paramedic to access patient medical history. And this will, is where the EMR would provide the most benefit However, many paramedics work where there is no connectivity. They will still need access to the application and this should sync when the device reconnects. The development lifecycle should be part of the EMR system plan and should include update and renewal approval processes. And it's important to allow the organization to plan ahead through understanding the lifespan and life cycle of the EMR system. Patient information is legislated and also has policy around its use and security and an organisation must ensure that they comply to security requirements. Amalgamation with a hospital or health EMR system is not essential. However, there are considerable benefits that can be gained for the holistic patient journey if this is achieved. The research process should be well governed and it should include the request and approval process. All users will need the correct and appropriate training for the needs prior to using the system. And a highly available system will allow for constant use of the EMR system, regardless of any outages or disruptions, as it is not beneficial if paramedics need to revert to a paper-based system. The EMR in the ambulance setting will need to account for specific ambulance protocols and treatment. So the EMR application should be customizable to meet their requirements. Environmental factors include connectivity, weather, scene contamination, and even down to factors such as device weight. 
Paper-based records have been developed over a really long period of time and follow a very logical process in completion. The EMR will need to follow that logical process as well for it to be successful. Paramedics need to ensure that policy and procedures are followed to maintain a high level of record keeping. And this is where the greatest benefits of utilising an EMR can be achieved. Fields to enter patient information need to reflect practice and terminology that are used within the ambulance environment. And the organisation needs to set the standards for what fields will be mandatory for the record to be complete. Paper-based records have never allowed for mandatory fields, so this will require management and education. The ambulance record will always be additional to a hospital record but the ability to transmit and integrate into the hospital record and potentially autocomplete details or fields can see benefits of time and patient care achieved. There has been a bit of research done into electronic medical record systems. Unfortunately, only a small amount of that research relates directly to the ambulance environment. For the research articles that covered the hospital-based EMR, these tended to look at fields that weren't actually relevant to ambulance, such as the improved movement of patients through hospital units. There was a number of articles that could highlight the benefits of an EMR system to the whole of health framework. Uh, however, these benefits were certainly applicable to not only the ambulance service, but the patient as a whole. The research clearly identified that data was the main benefit that could be derived from the implementation of an electronic medical record system. The majority of the research that was analysed was qualitative and was undertaken through surveys and interviews of users and managers of electronic medical record systems. It's really difficult to get quantitative information as most agencies would protect this information and legislation and policy will cover privacy of patient data. There was common findings among the research and I was able to identify multiple benefits for an EMR system. Key themes that were identified in the research were better data collection, which moves towards improving patient care through the ability to collect and analyse data. However, the data quality must be ensured and the patient's story needs to remain in the information. Knowing how and why the benefits of the EMR will help the business is imperative to having the right system in place. Paramedic access to patient information at the right time will greatly enhance the decision-making ability, including knowledge of medications and chronic conditions. The organisation needs to understand and select a device that can operate and withstand the extremes of the paramedic environment. The lack of connectivity in areas may decrease benefits derived from implementing an EMR system. The leadership role was really important and several factors were identified here, including setting the standards, finding workable solutions to coexist within the culture and practice, the change management process, setting the direction and using the right reasons and motivations, having an organisational commitment and monitoring management of the use of the EMR system. Patient and paramedic safety can be enhanced through analysis and understanding of the data that is captured through the EMR and understanding that there is good and bad financial impacts of an EMR system. Initially, there's a capital investment to purchase the system and implementation costs. The research identified that it can be difficult to measure all costs, especially beneficial costs, but there is evidence of reduced costs where there's reduced medication errors and treatment errors due to implementation of the EMR and treatment time required due to healthcare providers having access to the information 
at the time of treating the patient. There are issues that will need to be overcome to implement an EMR system, and that includes continual development for the application to be responsive to changes in practice. Knowing and understanding how the life cycle will work and how that will impact the organisation financially for planning purposes. Monitoring and managing compliance of use. Changing from a paper to electronic system will have a significant impact and the change process will need to be well managed. All users will require training and this will have an impact financially and on staffing. Specifically related to the ambulance environment, there needs to be field matching of the system to integrate and that includes terminology. Understanding how records will get to a hospital or GP and that includes security and privacy issues. The organisation will need to develop policies and procedures to ensure the systems are well governed and data and device security will need to be managed. There are clear benefits that can be gained in the ambulance environment from using an electronic medical record system. By overcoming the identified issues and the considerations, better paramedic safety, patient care and data can be gained to lead the ambulance into the future. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my presentation.